want to say congratulations to the three Hall of Famers. They arrived at East Texas in a different time and period. There were trailblazers both on the field and off the field. Numerous contributions to the, to the university and to the world at large. And I'm proud to have known all three. As a Dallas guy, all right. I am really proud to be out here to join this celebration. And uh, it's a great honor for me to be invited and to be here and celebrate with you this great evening. So congratulations to you. All right. Thank you very much. I must say it is a great honor for me to uh, accept uh, Texas A&M in commerce, formerly East Texas State University, uh, letter to be inducted into the Athletic Hall of Fame. And uh, I also have uh, another colleague that's been inducted and also a great teammate in terms of uh, well-known fame, John Carlos. And John, would you like to have a word to say too? Yes, I'd like to say, first of all, it's an honor to come back to East Texas State University. It's an even greater honor to come back to be witness to two great individuals that I competed with at the university, uh, Mr. Jim Thor, Mr. Dennis Dice. Great colleagues, great friends, much love, much concern about their life and well-being. This is a great accomplishment, and I'm just happy that God gave me the will and the breath to be here with him to share. Thank you. I am humbled, <laughs> to say the least, at uh, being inducted into the Hall of Fame. It is uh, it's a great honor. But, uh, you know, um, with every accomplishment, you have to have uh, others that helped you along. And I had Jim, James Thor and Mr. Carlos, who uh, used to run me to death. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever beat him in anything. Maybe I beat him once in the quarter. But no, yeah, in the quarter, not the hundred. No, okay. He had to give me a head start. <laughs> but but seriously, no. This is a great honor. Um, I am I am overwhelmed, and I, it, it, I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful. Thank you. Hey, Dad. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. I know I got my athletic gene from you. Um, this is awesome. Enjoy it. Hi, Dad. Congratulations on your Hall of Fame award. Um, I'm so glad to be a thrower. Uh, continue with all your other successes as your story goes on. You are truly a legend. Hey, Dad. Just wanted to congratulate you on uh, your induction into the ET Hall of Fame. It's been a long time coming. Uh, also, wanted to uh, let you know that you should be in the Hall of Fame for raising a wonderful family. Uh, after doing some of the things that you've done and done with the business and making sure that we have a secure future. So, uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over to my wife. She's much better with words than I am. So. Dad, um, congratulations on being inducted. I think you're leaving a great legacy and you will continue to leave even more for us to follow. So, congratulations. How many guys got 4,000 yards in their career day in commerce history? One. One. How many oh. guys in the Lone Star Conference Hall honor? Nine. Who's the only king in school history? Still got the only one. That's Arthur it. King James. Arthur King James. That's what I'm saying. Jim Thurl, man. I hear you, man. Heart, Thanks so very much. I want to congratulate you. Yes, sir. Into this uh, East Texas State University, Texas A&M Commerce yes. Hall of Fame. Yes, From sir. the bottom of my heart, I want to say congratulate you. And uh, congratulations to you. And it couldn't happen to a better person. I tell you. I love you, man. Look, I love you too, man. Our next honoree, James Thrower, is the last known three-sport athlete at East Texas State, where he participated in the Lions football, basketball, and track and field teams. The Camden, Arkansas native came to East Texas State originally on a basketball scholarship, but it is in football where he excelled. As a three-year starter on the football team, he intercepted 12 passes. He also earned a letter in basketball and two in track and field as a member of the 440 relay and in the high jump. Following his ET playing days, he went on to a five-year career in the NFL. He was a member of the Philadelphia Eagles for two seasons and spent three seasons with the Detroit Lions. After his playing career, he served as a loan executive and as an executive assistant to the board chairman of the NAACP. He is now on the City of Detroit Board of Water Commissioners, the President and CEO of Jam Jawar Incorporated, and the owner of seven McDonald's restaurants in Detroit and the surrounding 
metro area. It's very active in other corporate and community groups that include the McDonald's operators, National Advertising Committee. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. James Crow. I must say that I'm very proud of my son-in-law. The very first time I met him, he came to take my daughter out, and I said to myself, he's a keeper. And I'm so happy she agreed with me. So let me tell you, he made me proud today. My husband, Jim, I just want to tell you that I've never been so proud of you in my entire life. Um, the story that you told today uh, people were so intense, listening so intensely, you could have dropped a pin uh, in the room and, and heard it. So just saying to you again, God bless you, and just keep doing the things that you're doing.